Alright, greetings and welcome to another episode on the Minecraft wannabe fan server. And as always, and forever, this will be the best fan server made by fans for fans when it comes to the Minecraft community. And I've been a little bit busy around my plot and mining a bit and wanted to show you around here um let's like show this dungies dungan me my mob factory and this is my house so um as stated the last episode episode one um spawn has been relatively built it's relatively lit up both above ground and below ground and so i decided to make my house uh Dark room mob spawner currently inactive, and as you can see, the lights are on. I do have redstone lamp lighting, so I could turn this off and on at will. Um, and so the mobs come up here, they come up through this, uh, this hole right here, which is very center of the plot, and it could either go two ways. One, towards my mob processor. Whoop. Nope. Mm. Which has them go up a bit and then they fall down in that little, in that in this spot right there. Or they could go. See, let's go around, press the button. They could go around that way instead. T flip plop. One side leads to one, the other side leads that way. Um, and this would be my record farm back here. Um, this will be easier to explain. So, mobs, skeletons, zombies, and creepers come up this this chute. And then when I see a skeleton at that lapis block point, I could flip this lever and two pistons retract, two pistons extend, and water stream switches currents to lead up to right there. And that's how I capture skeleton. Then all the rest will continue on their way over there. That path just leads straight over to here, where all three mobs will kind of form up in that one spot. And if it was, if it's not raining or night, they will burn because directly above them is a glass block. So zombies and skeletons will burn. So leaving only creepers in this spot, leaving a skeleton in that spot. So you come right here, stand right here. Skeleton shoots all the creepers, and you get as many records as you want. Now, playing off. Well, I guess I'll, I'll explain that later. But um, the other way is the mob processor, and basically all the mobs fall right here. Um, you could either have the mobs fall and what? What? No. What is? Where in the world did he come from? Wow, no clue. <laughs> and it scares me. Dang it, AI. So they can fall through there. I never actually used that. Um, it's kind of like a safe safe thing. If there's too many and it starts lagging out, you can flip this lever and it will kill them if I actually had lava to actually kill them in. So um, yeah, I need to get lava. But I plan on getting a ton of obsidian soon, so I could get lava then. And then there is this, the crusher kill. It will crush them and leave them with half one hit, well, half a heart, so one hit. I want to first notice the sign is now floating on the piston arm. Just saying. <laughs> so it leaves them with half a hit. Zombies take two hits. Every, the skeletons creepers take one, and it's basically an experience farm with naturally spawning rates which aren't very good but still pretty good because you actually get all the types of loots and of course the rare drops and then this is the flood protection so when I'm crushing them and the flood protection is on a piston up there extends and it blocks off the flow so no more mobs can enter this place so while I'm punching them a mob with full health would not fall into this little uh, trap and really get on people's nerve on my nerves. So that's flood protection that uh, uh, helps stop that. 
and this lever just pushes out the loot that happens as well as this lever which pushes out the loot to there and it's going pretty well I have three layers so far um, record farm is doing quite well um, as many of the records as I'll ever want and pretty much anyone you ever want because well it's very self-sustaining I, I don't think I'll ever run out and gotta listen to Mellow High down here is my storage my spawn and my work area um, I built it down because I didn't have room up there and because I wanted to be closer to uh, further down on the Y coordinates so my uh, traps down there the mobs could walk around instead of being frozen over 40 blocks away there's freeze and so I wanted to go down have a way to get down so the mobs at the very bottom of Slayer could actually walk around fall into the water and then go up and this is the under oh here we go this is the redstone to the whole system um, the T flip flops up there. Um, where the wiring comes down right here. Um, basically, this wiring triggers another T flip flop that starts crushing the mobs. And then at the same time, it powers these repeaters and goes all the way through. And then once the power reaches the end of the current, the T flip flop is flipped back. So the crusher system stops. And this amount of delay is a perfect amount for it to leave the mobs with half a heart, so to speak. This system is for the uh, record farm to capture the skelly. Um, you can see the four pistons up there. This one and the, the two opposite ones are always extended, as you can see here. This torch is off, that torch is off, this is on, that is on. When it's flipped, um, these two will turn off and these two will turn on and it will flip the pistons. And what else? What else? Oh yes, this is the crusher line. It goes up to here and it will power the two pistons right above there. And this is where the lava will be, the chute right here. And It's a T flip flop for the the mob processor and the record farm, and this is the lighting line. This line goes all the way down, and we'll go down here next. Um, vertical wiring um, leads down, and this is the first layer of lights. The lights are in the ceiling of each floor. The rose is here to mark off that the floor, the lights are actually on this level. And the lights are on this level too. And the lights are on this level as well. Kind of blocked off. And if I want to get in, I would come somewhere. This place is a mess. But yeah, it's right around here. Workbench, yes. Um, infinite water spring that we don't need to be worried about, but this is the spawning grounds. Um, lights are in the ceiling directly above these half slabs that stop spiders from spawning. And in this pad, they'll fall into this chute. And then the sign and a pressure plate for the water to keep flowing. I'm not pushing any arrows right now. And so the mobs will be going along this thing. They'll be trying to swim up. And then they'll go up this thing. And here's the second layer, wooden slabs this time. Um, let's actually block this off because it's probably letting light in. And decreasing the efficiency by quite a bit. So yeah, um, each layer needs room for between the water lines and the redstone powering the lights above. Um, fortunately, you don't need a huge blocker swap, block swapper setup like you did before, so we don't need to 
have super a ton of space above, but still I need some. And I believe the sweet spot is eight layers. That way, this water source is at the same point on each level. Um, so the, it's a head level right here. So it, the mobs could swim up. And then I'll be head level at the other layers as well. Which means it's eight blocks difference. Yep, see, head right here. And that way I could have the same design for them all. And as you can see, it's all lit up. Um, I'm not worried about looks down here. And yeah. But as you can see, um, I did play quite a bit on this server. I am level 49. That is from massive amounts of caving for all the redstone needed for this system. And is this the bottomless layer? Yeah. And see, um, the water is head level here too. Eight, eight apart. Six would be too close. If I calculated correctly. If not, the rates are actually decent enough. The third layer... Uh, increase the rates by quite a bit. So let's cover that all up and get out of here. And how do I get out of here? Quite a mess, isn't it? Here we go. Yeah, I had to slowly chop down the ladder. There we go. There we go. Because the ladder is actually inside the Actually, uh, this is this spot is actually the furthest corner in the system, or in each floor. So I have to kind of like bring the ladder up. I have to move this uh, back a few blocks, like I did here. And I'm gonna have to do it again if I decide to add a fourth layer. But um, what I want to do first before a fourth layer is add a powered creeper farm. And, yep, that area is blocked off because it would lead to the outside if it wasn't. But as you can see, if lights are on, you're allowed access to the inner workings. Um, if you break that block, you go outside. But if the lights are off, the iron door closes and you cannot access there and you cannot go down there where all the lights are off and there's a billion mobs down there. So you wouldn't try to blow stuff up or anything like that. It's kind of like foolproof, I guess. But I just like how that works. However, today there was a slight incident where Luke 401 came to visit. He was standing right here. Somehow a creeper glitched into this block because Mom's is so burning. And if Mom's is still burning, there's a higher chance I get pushed around. And the creeper blew up, blew up a piston, and released them all. So, uh, three creepers blew up in my area. Fortunately, it was not by any chest. The first one was right here. The second one was right around here. And the third one was right around here. Uh, Luke was cool. He, uh, when he saw that the creeper blew up, he kind of ran away. And ran away to turn on the lights to stop them from going. Um, I came around after and then made push them all to flow towards the mob processor instead of the huge gaping hole. <laughs> but it ended up getting solved and good to go. So as you can see I'm level 49 and took a tour bit and purple Nepenthe showed me that she has a enchanting table in her house. Home of purple Nepenthe. Ejeep.com slash trichomatica. Yep. And her house, her houses always have these cool water systems that go up and down. And I quite like it. Yes, all those zombies are not actually on the roof partying. They're actually inside the area. And that's the floodgate you see right there. So, <laughs> it's quite crazy. Um, actually, it's down. When you try to get in the middle so you can go up and down fastest. But, I want to get this diamond pick. Try to get a good level. 45 is okay. I want something good.
Okay, level 48. Oh yeah! Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, I'm breaking 3. Yes. Epic. And, Efficiency 5 will be really helpful with getting all... Trichomatica, Purple Nepenthe. You notice this? 217. That's a gift from me to you. Don't think you noticed that when I visited your house. But, yes, <laughs> that could uh, really help out. Um, efficiency 5 really wrecks through obsidian, and that's what I really want to get right now. Is there like, no, that's odd. But, um, holy cow. See, like, I can't hit them, they're just floating in there. And that's why I don't leave my mob system on. Um, let's... I, I have this piston extend out so they don't take any fall damage. Look at them all. Crush them up. They all kind of like warp in there when it begins crush, crushing. Except this zombie. Oh, there he goes. And well... And then just basically just smack them all. Zombies take two hits, the rest take one. Um, low levels increase quickly, but higher levels take some time still. But the best thing about this is that you can get the rare drops from both the skeletons and zombies. And that's where this iron sword comes from. That's where every single one of my bows comes from. Um, so I, they drop a lot of bows. Get that saturation of the bread back. And that's why you want flood protection because full health zombies have gotten in here. So now you have to waste a sword or something. Dang it. Okay, push them all out, and when you update that piston, they kind of like, if they're kind of floating out in the middle of nowhere. So let's turn the lights on. You can see that it's reasonably effective. It's been maybe a few minutes since I turned them on. No one else is on the server at the moment. Dang it, zombie. And now... Since there are still mobs there, I would turn on the lava, release the floodgate, and any mobs that come through will land in the lava. Unless... 
Oh no, what's going on there? Yeah, I was having problems with Strecker Farm because when they went over a pressure plate that was uh, blocking that uh, water stream, it was powering this piston here. Which is kind of annoying. But, I also um, tried an iron golem separator to separate the creepers out so it didn't matter on weather or time of day. Um, so the skeletons and zombies will die by the iron golems and leave the creepers alone. But, um, turns out they're very, very finicky and I wasted a ton of iron and that's what the pumpkin farm is for. And that was just a disaster. And I tried it in my on my server's redstone test world on the one I run locally and could not find a solution it just buggy bugged out so this is Mr. Alex Gaming's home his real home this is Luke 401's home it used to be the huge sandstone Coliseum and now he tore it down completely and is building some glass thing so whatever that may be that's what he's building and this, the Pagoda, is USR1K's. I don't believe I should show that out. He is part of We Heart Good um, on King Noob's channel. Uh, one of my favorite series. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And I've missed this tower, and I apologize because this is my teammate, Raymond's. Raymond 86's. And he has an awesome channel. He plays with Tip Turner CTM maps as well as other stuff. He's on the actual Minecraft fan server. Um, as well as many people here got on the fan server, the actual one. Um, few of us are still left behind, but that's all good because we're still all in a community together. And... Oh man, just left a gift. Raymond should maybe check that out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, and then the other mistake I made was this lighthouse. Where is it? Arrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey now. Let's put that back and here they come. Here's where they come from. Fixed. All good. Yeah, you can see two zombies spawn in that little dark spot, which is um shows that it's quite effective if you build a dark room around here. So my dark room is quite effective. Especially when it's off, they would spawn there. And the spider spawn down there too. But the lighthouse, let's get back on track here. Horrible, horrible shot. Uh, okay. Arrow went to the end and has been working in the end on the Enderman farm. And I still got the Ender Pearls. Um, he brought some here, but if I were wanted some, I would go to the there myself because I'm not quite that lazy <laughs> but however I have been donating all most pretty much all my gunpowder since I have no real use for it to his TNT spleef fund because why not he's he's my buddy he's my teammates and everything and let's get that. And I have absolutely no use for gunpowder anyway, so I would kind of want to play TNT Spleef. So let's actually um, donate all this. Three and a third stacks, about. Let's do it. And my plan is to make a tower. Um, I said a powered creeper farm and for that you need to go up high you need obsidian so they don't blow stuff up because it's very a lot more finicky and what I'll do is have the creeper farm well the at the record farm 
I would have it so it sorts out the creepers, and then when it's already sorted out, um, I could flip a lever. Ooh, thank you. I could repair my swords. That was the one I was already near near broken. Where did the zombie come from? Probably around here. And slide up. Come on, right? Okay, there. And where's this light? Oh, dang it. Okay, it's right there, I believe. Yes, this lighthouse was made by Purple Nepenthe, Palanthus, and King Noobs. And I just wanted to give all three of them credit since all three of them did build it. I only mentioned Palanthus' name last time. And I just want to give the other two their credit where the credit's due. Also, one last thing I've heard was that the graveyard that we saw last time particularly creepy and I should go explore it. The graveyard was made by B Cornball, another member on the server. I'm not sure if he records or not. I do not have anything to donate to you however. Apologies. But we have a graveyard. And it's definitely spooky. Sneak around. Rest in peace, I win. Jamie. Geo. Oh. <laughs> okay. Won't say that aloud. Rest in peace. WH. Well, who is next? Spider's probably checking me now. Yep, there he is. Bit laggy right there. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Nope! No! Stop it! No more scaring people. They will not eat you, but they can scare you. And it's just best to not let them. Be af don't be afraid. You'll win and you'll regen fairly quickly and it won't take many hearts if you have armor on and they're nothing to really fear. But now is that purple and penty by the way. Since that kind of might have sounded weird to some of you but just because you're pro doesn't mean everybody is and we all have stuff to learn and not being afraid is something to learn. Hey! You always get mad at them. <laughs> oh man. This is kind of eerie. The lighting really. Whoa, that looks cool. Redstone torch lighting always makes stuff look kind of eerie. The lava looks cool. And there's full. Holy water. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Holy cow. I just would have uh, died if that was a trap. <laughs> Gotta pay more attention. <laughs> and what's going on? Enderman, I hate you for griefing everything all the time. And Although, my solution for Enderman griefing is they cannot pick up blocks in certain light levels, and it would have picked up, been able to pick up that anyway, so. Guess I can't really hate them for that, but. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Bandit mineshaft here. Cobwebs. Yep, th this was a spawner. This is creepy. Unlit parts. I won't go lighting it up just for the mood. See, like, those iron bars are a nice touch. Whoa, this is scary. Jail cell. 
This is a nice ad adaptation of a mine shaft corridor. Seems like somebody escaped from this cell. <laughs> I'm shifting like my name might be spotted by mobs. Wow. <laughs> these are nice touches. I really like it. Oh, I also noticed that these are actually one higher. This is nice. I like it. But, um, my plans are to finish up my house, make it the obsidian tower and powered record farm, powered cooper farm. Sorry. And exit is this way. And then uh, for episode four, it's time to move out and search for new lands to build a base. So I have a bit more room to deal with, a bit more natural landscape to work around with too. Urban landscape is always cool, but it's always good to work with natural landscape too. Nope, nope, dang it. And that's why you light it up. Sorry, I have to. No, no, no. And I'll fix this up now. Thankfully, a lot of half slabs dropped. Actually, dang it, this is not a half slab, bro. Um, hmm. Okay, so, is there a workbench down here? I want to repair this on camera, just so you know I did. Oh, this is... What am I picking up? Random st stuff. Step down 13 steps. <laughs> <laughs> so it's his bee corn ball storage area. Creeper infestation. Creepy. Expecting something creepy in that furnace. Let's put this stuff back. Lifetime, lifetime supply of rotten flesh for you. <laughs> oh no. Nope. There we go. Oh, I needed a workbench. Was there one down there? Dang it. Oh, here we go. Let's turn these into slabs and... Fixed. Perfect. Glad it's done. And let's get out of here. It scared me and scared you for the last time. Maybe not the last, but there was a button here. That's good. Okay, we survived the gravestone. Oh, the cemetery. Sorry. Oh, hello. Somebody's dog is here. Just let people know. But. Next time, you'll see my house completed, hopefully, and then the time after that will be me moving out into some unknown lands. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little expediture and explanation of what I've been going, what I've been doing on this server. Um, if you're watching this and you're a part of the server. I would like to like to invite you to take any records you want from here. Um, any of your favorites, you can come and take. Um, there's a jukebox down here for you to try them out if you have not heard them all yet. But thank you guys for the ticking. And if you're not on the server, I'm sorry. It is invites only. And despite this, said that's just how it goes. That's how. To me, the better servers are that way. Um, 
it's not public because public could get kind of crazy sometimes as the Minecraft people found out with their public server and that's just how it goes but enough for the rambling Ooh, save my awesome pick for the obsidian and oh yes I've had this ore for a while, so let's, why not use it now? We have 10 diamond ore. And... Whoa. 22 diamonds. So that went quite well. More than doubled. It's stuff you can see how much iron I have. It's quite a bit of iron. Um, lapis blocks. So some stuff to smelt. Actually, what am I doing? Those are in its right spots. And for completeness sakes, what did I just do? Okay. I do this too much, don't I? I need to uh, actually work on my rambling, but. Thanks for watching this, it's now complete, and I'll see you next time.